Dear colleagues, my name is Emil Faure. I am here to present the research named Method for Generating Pseudorandom Sequence of Permutations based on Linear Convergential Generator. This work is performed in Cherkasy State Technological University. Pseudorandom sequences are widely used to solve a wide class of problems. In particular, they are used to protect data from unauthorized access, to control the integrity of information, to form signals that provide covered data transmission, to implement the modeling of complex systems and objects, to form permutations for factorial coding of information. The linear congruential generator is one of the simplest ones in design, high performance, and one of the most commonly used generators. Linear congruential generators are very sensitive to changes in parameters. Numerous works on the theory and application of linear congruential generator are aimed at choosing its parameters and assessing the quality of the obtain, obtained pseudorandom sequences. At the same time, despite the large number of studies on the choice of linear congruential generator parameters and experimental evaluation of its properties, most of them are aimed at improving the randomness of the formed sequence and do not take into account the structure of its space of states. The analysis of the simplest pseudorandom number generators shows their limitations due to the need to select parameters in order to ensure the necessary pseudorandom sequences statistical properties. Thus, uh, for further study and analysis of pseudorandom number generator construction based on sequential traversal of all vertices of the graph of linear congruential generator states, it is necessary to perform an in-depth study of the structure of the generator states graph. Extended analysis of the influence of linear congruential generator parameters on the structure of its graph and, consequently, to develop the method for generating pseudorandom sequence based on the near conventional method by sequentially traversing the contour of the generator graph of states. This work is aimed at solving these problems. We use algebra of monads and topology of their graphs by Vladimir Arnold. According to his works, a monad is a representation of a finite set in itself. The monad graph has all elements of this finite set as vertices and oriented edges connect each element with its image. Connected components of any monad are cycle attractors which are equipped with root trees attached by their roots to each vertex of the cycle attractors. The examples of graphs of monads for some linear conventional generator parameters are shown in table. The structures of graphs of monads of linear conventional generator were analyzed. The analyzed structures were summarized. Some typical graphs of linear conventional generator are presented on the screen. Among the typical linear congruential generator graphs, one can see the first one, generalized graph of cycles, the second one, generalized graph of trees, and the third one, combinations of cycles and trees. Extending their known regularities, we give some graphs of linear congruential generated states and parameters for which these graphs are typical. A model of a generalized graph of linear congruential generated states have been developed. 
the analysis of typical oriented graphs of linear conventional generator states shows that no more complex patterns except for the products of trees and cycles are found in the graphs of monads. Linear conventional generator graph is an unconnected combination of cycles equipped with tree products. This fact allows classifying the types of connectivity components of the graph of linear conventional generated states and investigating the influence of parameters on its topology. A method for generating a pseudorandom sequence of numbers based on the linear conventional method is presented. The proposed method allows performing concatenation not only of separate and disjoint cycles in linear conventional generator graph, but also of pre-cycles or trees if they are contained therein. So, the method allows generating a uniformly distributed number regardless of the topology of the graph of generated states and uh, consequently minimizing the time spent on choosing its parameters. The proposed approaches to the construction of the device or for pseudorandom sequences generating uh, on the linear conventional generator basis are used to create software implementation of generators. The proposed method allows increasing the size of the space of allowable values of linear conventional generator parameters to achieve the maximum pseudorandom sequence period. The speed of the developed generator exceeds the speed of the permutation generator using the fisher yes algorithm for parameter m less or equal to 125. The scientific knowledge of the study is as follows. It has developed the model for generalized graph of states of linear continuation gener generator, which allows classifying the types of connectivity components of the graph of its states and to investigate the influence of parameters on its topology. The developed model has allowed to improve the method for pseudorandom sequences generating based on linear conventional method, which allows to form pseudorandom sequence of uniformly distributed number regardless of the topology of the graph of states of linear conventional generator, and as a result to minimize the time spent on choosing its parameters and increase the size of the space of their allowable values to achieve the maximum period. Implementation of the algorithm for generating pseudorandom sequences of permutations based on linear conventional generator with any type of the graph of its states has allowed increasing the speed of the generator compared to the permutation generator based on pseudorandom number generator using the fisher yates algorithm. The report is over. Thank you for your attention.